guys! My name is Mimi and welcome to my home base story kung saan lagi tayong nagpo-post ng mga bagong updates regarding work from home. So if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. For today's topic, may isi-share na naman ako sa inyo na isa pang portal kung saan pwede kayong maghanap na mga clients or kung saan kayo pwede maghanap ng work from home. These are for those people na bigo na sa Upwork or at tagal na nagiintay ng reply sa onlinejobs.ph. Minention ko na rin to sa last kong video, the portal is linkedin.com. So siguro marami sa inyo nakakaalam ng LinkedIn. After all, LinkedIn has been around for a lot of years na, di ba? Halos kasabayan din niya ni Facebook, ganyan. Ang difference lang ni LinkedIn, guys, is more on professional side siya. Doon kasi pwede mong ilagay yung professional portfolio mo. And most usually, mga clients natin or yung mga friends natin from the US, sa may mga business, dyan talaga sila nagbe-base. Mas madali kasi kung nandyan na yung profile mo. So, shout out to our viewers in the US. I actually found an easy way for you to earn extra money by just sharing your opinion and answering surveys. The website is called Opinion Outpost. And yes, it's so easy you can do it like when you're watching TV or preparing for bed and anytime that you've got extra time because we can all use some extra cash, right? I've checked it out online and it actually works. I'll be dropping the link on the description box below so make sure you don't miss this opportunity and check them out. Thank you for our Opinion Outpost for sponsoring this video. So guys, hindi lang naman mga clients from the US ang makikita nyo sa LinkedIn. Meron din dito yung mga galing dito sa Pilipinas. Actually, worldwide, any client, you know, from any point or anywhere in the world, nandyan sa LinkedIn. So tara, samahan nyo ako and magsiscreen share tayo. just go to their portal which is linkedin.com. Makikita nyo dyan yung join now and sign in sa upper right hand corner and you just have to click on join now kung bago kayong magre-register. Once you click on join now, you will be taken to this page where you have to enter your personal details like your first name, last name, email, and then gawa lang kayo ng password. Tapos click nyo yung agree and join. Ayan, tapos makikita nyo dyan na you have to enter your country and region and your postal code. Click nyo lang yung next. Ayan. Tapos, after, kita nyo naman to yung re most recent job title. So, kung ano yung most recent job title nyo. For me, it's virtual assistant. So, if you're doing other jobs, just lagay nyo lang dyan. Tapos, kung ano yung company nyo and kung anong industry yun. Kung BPO ba yan or sa banking or like sa advertising. So, piliin nyo lang dyan yung industry nyo. And kung student naman kayo, just click on I'm a student. Tapos, click nyo lang yung continue. After nun, guys, magsisend sila ng code sa email nyo. So, enter nyo lang to. Enter nyo lang yung code dito sa page na to. So, guys, ito yung sample nung message ng LinkedIn. So, copy, tapos ipipaste nyo lang siya dito. And then, click on agree and confirm. And then, makikita nyo dyan na pwede kayo mag-add ng contacts nyo kasi mahalaga sa LinkedIn yung connects. And then, pwede nyo rin namang skip yan. So, for now, we'll just skip. And then, ayan, these are some of the peoples na connected based dun sa job description nyo. So, if may kakilala kayo dyan or may bet kayong i-add, pwede nyo rin silang i-add dyan. Pwede nyo rin naman yang skip. Ayan. And then, you can also add a photo. Just make sure na it's a professional headshot. Hindi mukhang pang comedy. Ganyan. So, and then, you can also install their app for the phone. Ayan. Yung lagay nyo lang yung number nyo dyan. Pero lahat yan, guys, is optional. You can skip them. And hindi yan makaka-apekto sa pag-a-apply nyo. And then, of course, after nun, makikita nyo na ang inyong LinkedIn dashboard. Now, before you start applying sa LinkedIn, I would suggest you build your profile first. If you want me to make a separate video about that, then please make sure you comment it down below kasi medyo matagal yun, guys. So, ituturo ko sa inyo today kung paano maghanap ng work. So, as you can see here, this is my dashboard. So, sa dashboard, guys, makikita nyo dyan yung sa pinakataas yung home, my network, jobs, messaging, notifications. All you have to do is just click here where it says jobs. And then, ayan. So, kita nyo dyan yung job searches ko. Nag-search ako ng virtual assistant. 
And ito yung mga results na lumabas. Ito mga to, galing siya sa iba't ibang parts ng mundo. <laughs> galing sa iba't ibang parts of the earth. <laughs> Tapos ayan, makikita nyo dyan, karamihan ng mga nasa top is more on the Philippines. Kasi syempre, alam ni LinkedIn na nasa Philippines tayo, diba? Sinilag natin yan earlier. So, marami kayong pagpipilian guys sa pwede nyo pag-applyan. These are companies here in the Philippines na meron silang mga client na naghahanap ng VA. So, parang middle man sila na meron silang list of clients and they're looking for virtual assistant. So, kagaya nitong si Blackjack Real Estate. Ayan. Makikita nyo dyan kung ilan na yung mga nag-apply, kung ilan yung, kung gano'ng kalaki yung company nila. And, yung job description mismo. Like, kung ano yung schedule, di ba? Kalagay dyan, American time, Monday to Friday. The payment is hourly. Hindi ko lang sure kung anong ibig sabihin nila nun. Ah! The rate is hourly. Pero, iba yung payment. Baka mali yung pagka-phrase nung naglagay ng post na to, no? When you're ready and nakapili na kayo ng pag a yan, all you have to do is just click on apply. Kapag clinic nyo yan, guys, mariridirect kayo doon sa mismo application portal na preferred no company. So, in this case, it's pinoyjobs.ph Pero makikita nyo dyan na kailangan may makompleto nyo muna yung personality profile nila. And makikita nyo na dyan na yung salary offer nito is from 20,000 to 35,000. I think that's reasonable amount kung beginner ka lang naman and kung hindi sila maraming pinapagawa. Again, yung rate nyo should depend on the task na ipapagawa sa inyo. Okay, so try natin maghanap ng openings for graphic designer. Uh, makikita nyo din dyan, karamihan nung mga offers usually are in the Philippines. So, all you have to do is just, you know, browse dito sa may left side, no? And makikita nyo yung mga details niya dito sa right side. Kagaya nito, so, si Wells Fargo is looking for graphic designer. Pero I think yung graphic designer na kailangan nila is yung in-house, yung pupunta ka sa office ni Wells Fargo dito sa uh, Manila and dun ka mag-work. So, make sure na pag naghahanap kayo ng work sa LinkedIn, basahin nyo ng mabuti lahat ng mga qualification. Ayan o, no, work location, McKinley Hill sa BGC. Um, tingnan nyo muna kung online job ba siya or kung office work. So, make sure you read through all of the details before you click on apply. And huwag kayo guys basta apply ng apply sa lahat ng makikita nyo pwedeng applyan. Kasi, um, baka malito kayo, mas maganda kung meron kayong preferred na iilan Tapos, iintay nyo na lang muna sila. Again, the rule of thumb here is if you haven't heard from the client or the company within the week, within a working week na nag-apply kayo, then, again, it's time to move on and look for other jobs. Ayun. So, ayun guys. Di ba madali lang namang magtingin ng job sa LinkedIn? So, click on jobs, hanap kayo ng job na gusto nyo, and just click on apply. Tapos, follow nyo na lang lahat ng procedures after that. Yun. So, ayun guys, all you just have to do is just register sa LinkedIn, create an account, build your profile, tapos mag-try na kayong mag-search and mag-apply. So, if you're still looking for an online job, LinkedIn is one of the places, legit places that you can actually look for clients. Ayun nga lang, syempre, same lang din with, you know, all different portals. Kapag nakita kayo ng client na gusto nyo, make sure na i-research nyo muna ng mabuti, no? Um, wag tayong go ng go kasi maraming online predators. And before you give out any of your information, make sure that you've already done your research on a particular company or a particular client. So, guys, marami pa rin sa inyo nagtatanong how to start whenever I post a new video. Um, I actually created a work-from-home playlist, so feel free to share it to your friends or families who are wanting to start working from home. Lahat ng kailangan yung malaman kung para sa inyo ba yung work-from-home, ano ba yung mga dapat yung i-consider or pag-isipan bago kayo mag-start. Um, ano yung mga portal sa pwede nyo pagsimulan, ano yung mga different kinds ng work na pwede nyo gawin online. Andiyan na yan lahat guys. And there's still more coming. Lagi natin yung binadagdagan every week. So, I will put the link on the description box below. And ililink ko din siya dito. So, just click on the letter I on this screen. Makikita nyo yan dyan. Yung work from home playlist natin. Ayun. So, guys, thanks again for watching and spending your time with me today. And I will see you again on our next video. Bye! <laughs>
If you are interested in working from home, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell button so that you're updated whenever